Like, mm-hmm. like, like, hush. PKA gems. Uh, Some people. of you are have surely you, badass. Have you but... guys seen this Andrew Tate guy? That's like, no. he's, so he's like, a, this, this guy is like sort of popular now. Uh, he's, he's become like a, a viral thing. He was like a, an American kickboxer, but a, apparently was, was quite successful kickboxer. But he's gone like viral a lot on like TikTok and shit lately because he just, he has all these clips where he's just like talks about how you should just like fucking control women and like all this crazy shit that's like, it seems as though he's just saying it to like fuck up people. It's provocative. It's a troll. But he has this thing called Hustlers University where it's like you sign up to this uh sign up to this thing and he teaches you to hustle and make money. Is, oh, I know this the, guy. Cash line. Yeah. Dude, I've watched a lot like, of his content. He's brainwashing yeah. me actually. Yeah. So I was looking into <laughs> this like this this Hustlers University thing. I had to look into it like what what it actually is. And so it's like it's about like marketing your product. And apparently the main thing that they teach is like sharing clips of him doing weird shit will like drive traffic to your website. So he's got this like <laughs> fucking pyramid scheme where it's like getting you get people to sign up and then you get money and like all this shit so this dude's just running this like insane pyramid Dude, scheme from what i can say i don't i don't know if it's like if this that's guy how it is taking the brightest of red pills ever and he believes yeah. like there's all this shit about sort of misusing women and how yeah. high value alpha men like him would never have just one girl and you know how the, the girls are hoes and, and he kind of you know, d- explains to people what their sexual market value is. And uh, like, <sighs> I'm about to, to, like, to get myself canceled. The problem is he's like 80, 20, right? Right. Like a lot of what he says isn't crazy. Like, Oh, I, I do think he, guys hold right on to their some. sexual market value a little later in life? Yeah. Do women like rich guys? Yeah. Do women like handsome guys? Yeah. Maybe not the toppest of priorities, but, uh, you know, it's on there. What do guys like? Oh, they like really hot, submissive, young, inexperienced women. Guys, I sometimes like that. You know? <laughs> I, I think it's like, <gasps> Whoa, guys, <laughs> not us here at PKA. Uh, <laughs> we like 55-year-old uh, lawyers. <laughs> Only lawyers. What I like is a 71-year-old pig. <laughs> an absolute pig. <laughs> Somebody relinked me when we were talking to Boogie. Up- Two very boring minutes later. <laughs> the hell out of there. I, the <sighs> thing that uh, weirds me out about that guy is he's like, yeah, all women are dumb, but it's like maybe it's just the the the, the women that he's attracting. Like maybe he just attracts fuckwits that want money. And it's like maybe it's because you're a fuckwit that wants money that you're attracting. Maybe these. like you he's could probably get a, a high job in his female analysis, right? Maybe they're yeah. not so dumb. They're the ones getting his money. Yeah, well, may- maybe he could, like if you just attracted <laughs> someone that soon just a- attracted <laughs> someone that is like someone that has some substance. If he had some substance, he'd be able to like attract a mate like that, and then he wouldn't have these complaints, you know. <laughs> I need, I need to watch some of, this guy's, some of this guy's content. Oh, and yeah, truly hey, red pills. Yeah, it's dude, so he's so really. crimson red in his pills. Yeah. And, and so, so what he'll do, it, this is the nature of his podcast. It'll be him, maybe another guy or two. And these are all alpha high value men. And they, they kind of are. And then he gets these like sluts. I think a lot of them might like literally be sex workers. And, uh, they're not good speakers. They can't string together a sentence when they try to make a point or go against him. They lose their thoughts midway. They can't say things concisely. And he uses this against them in the funniest ways. He'll, he'll give them the floor to explain themselves. And they just trip over their own words and suffer. And he never loses an argument. In, in the same way that I have seen Joe Rogan beat like astrophysicists at astrophysicism or whatever the fuck that is uh, because Joe's a professional communicator and they're mm-hmm. struggling to say what they're trying to say. Uh, he mm-hmm. does this to these bimbos all the time and it's uh, it's content. He's got it. He's got it figured out. Sure. He's got his little engine going. Someone, it's like, all right, I bring hey. these dumb broads in, let them ramble for a bit. <laughs> and then the red pill hero swoops in. Exactly. <laughs> dude, dude, he yeah. he's like dunking on Fisher Price hoops all podcast long. <laughs> just, just, fucking, just Ben Shapiro mode where it's like, I'm yeah. talking to an 11 year old communist. And it's like, <laughs> where do you think money works? You fucking idiot. Like, fucking <laughs> <laughs> you literally he's, support he's just, like, like, he's just like bullying. I'm like, how do you think the economy works? How do you think it works? <laughs> 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 
Someone he stopped bullying recommend- him to me the other day as a guest like, because they said um, they, they he would they not just... come on the show and I wouldn't want to. Yeah, which they, one they are we just... talking about, Shapiro or Shapiro? Tate. No, I'm talking about Tate. Oh, Tate. Um, the, because yeah, yeah. they described him to me, and it sounded so much like Dick Masterson when he used to do that character when he was on. Uh, was it what show? Doctor Phil. Doctor Phil. Doctor yeah. Phil. <laughs> well, this guy's like an unironic Dick Masterson. He can't be unironic. He's kidding, right? I mean, he believes some of it, but he's I don't playing know. I, it haven't, out. I haven't watched this shit. Oh well, then fair. He's you gotta bring him on. I, I want to. I want to watch you guys. He always it. whips out the same statistics. Like he's really, really anti-marriage. And he's like, 80% of women are the people who, or 80% of divorces are initiated by women. And I looked it up because that's that number surprised me. Mm-hmm. And the way that he pitches that stat is that women are getting their hooks into you and then taking your money on the way out as their master plan from the beginning. I looked mm-hmm. into it. It was 70%, but let's agree that, you know, it's mostly yeah. women. Lopsided. Yeah. And it might be 80 in his state. In his experience. Who knows, right? And but what's happening is these women are getting married, and there is not a good deal for them. Like now, both couples are working, but in addition to work, she's doing all the kin work, all the laundry, all the cooking, all of this, all of that. And she's like, "This kind of sucks. It's not what I was. It's not the dream I had in mind." And they get divorced. That is a more common tale than <laughs> my trick to get his money is to get him ring on it, stick around for two years, and then take his money. And that's how he thinks all relationships are. That's, that's what he's what, he's pitching it as like a common female master plan. He's letting he's he's throwing the warning out there. Be be aware that this is what happens 70, 80 percent of the time when there's a divorce. I mean, so, I mean, this Zach is something. just a really bad judge of character. And just <laughs> shit. Yeah. So, and it's also that, like uh, something manipulative. Big boys do what they want. <laughs> <laughs> 